Hello, Year 9. Uh, welcome to Week three's lessons. This week is split into two lessons uh, for your two lessons in, uh, in your timetable. The first lesson is a research and analysis lesson. So introducing charities and companies around the world have attempted to catch the attention of the world and inform them of the issues they see. Designers have created eye-catching posters and slogans to get the attention of their audience. Researchers present a variety of poster campaigns. Pick two posters to write about and give your opinion on them. As you can see, I've given you examples of different posters that are out there. So it's your task to go and see what um, other designers, other campaigns have done to try and bring the attention of plastic and ocean pollution um, to the public. I want you to choose two posters um, and I would like you to write about them and compare those posters as well. So you can add things such as, what is your opinion of the artwork? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Can, can you explain why? How has the artist used images to illustrate their message? So how have they drawn it? Has it been done on the computer digitally illustrating? Um, what media might they have used? And what information is on the posters or is it just an image and a title? Uh, which works best and why? My top tip is try and give some keywords when evaluating the work using composition, maybe colour, style, technique and emotion. I've given an example of the sort of thing that you might want to do. Um, so I've set out my two posters, one on the left, one on the right, um, and in the middle I have compared them. So I'll give you time to read through them, but uh, I'll read the first one out, which is this post is a simple but effective way of getting a message across. The designer has kept to, to just one colour and white. The title is very clear and to the point. It tells us boldly to stop ocean plastic pollution. I really like how the pollution has been turned into the shape of the whale. This straightaway makes a connection between the pollution and the animal it is affecting. I've also then analysed and evaluated the image on the right, and then I've compared them in the middle. So my comparison is both posters are very different, but both give a similar message. And I've used objects to symbolise the plight of plastic pollution. The styles and colours used are very different. One is simple and the other has lots of colours and tones. I think the poster with the whale stands out more, but the hourglass poster is more creative and clever. So if you can use my example um, to help you out, obviously do not use the same ones and do not copy what I have done, but you can see how I have talked about the posters using keywords and then compared the two posters with each other. To help you, try and pick different posters and it will give you something to talk about. Thank you.